You're watching WCTV and here it's an highlight on an organization geared to nurture its community. South Shore Community Action Council aids various public service organizations throughout South Shore region that supplies food to economic strained folks. Food is a vital component in our daily lives, but still there are families in America who go to bed with empty stomachs. Because of economic hardships, food budgets falls under cracks compared to utility bills and other monthly payments. I, I think one of the things that compounds the problem is um, we now have our, our heat systems on. And during the summer, I, I know my gas bill goes down quite low. And then come October, November, when I turn my heating system on, my gas bill is no longer very low. And, um, even, even if a person has fuel assistance, the bill still goes up. And, and so, as Pat had talked about, um, with discretionary income, food is one of the things that people can cut. Um, and you may be able to eat less or cut some meat or, or um, store brand items or something like that to um, lessen your, your food budget, but sometimes you reach a point where you can't even do that. And that's where people will come and reach out to the food pantries to receive food from. The South Shore Community Action Council of Plymouth is the leading anti-poverty agency on Massachusetts South Shore. Its mission is to eliminate poverty in the South Shore region. I'm Pat Daly. I'm the executive director for South Shore Community Action Council. South Shore is about, it was founded in 1965 by a lot of devoted folks who went through the difficult years of trying to replicate all the services by town. And there just wasn't enough money to do it that way, so they had to really kind of start all over again and uh, do it as a regional program out of one location with many, many outreach sites. Linda Raw, Food Resource Council works to ensure that nobody along the South Shore region suffers the agony of hunger because of their income hardships. I'd like to welcome you to our facility today. We're part of South Shore Community Action Council in Plymouth, and we provide a variety of programs. What I'm going to be showing you today is the Food Distribution Center that's part of South Shore Community Action Council. I'd like to take you over here to the um, one of our programs, this actually is one of our newer programs. This is our school backpack program where we provide food to um, elementary school children in the Plymouth area. Um, and as you can see, a lot of the food here is fairly lightweight because a little child would have difficulty bringing this home. So this is a perfect kid-friendly kind of food that is lightweight for a child to carry home. We try and include some um, protein foods, fruits, vegetables, and of course snacks uh, for the child to eat for the weekend. These are um, children that get free school lunch and they're able to have food when the school isn't providing it for them. This is another one of our programs that we offer here at the Food Distribution Center and we provide food to the homeless population in the Plymouth area. And un unfortunately, the population of homeless people is, has been growing. Um, the food is very different here from what I showed you in the um, backpack program. Um, these are adults and you know different kind of food tastes, different kind of food issues. Um, one of the things that they generally seem to be looking for is liquids and um, we have some different beverages. Um, many of the people that we serve in this program live um, either in a tent or just live in the forest or may frequent some of the homeless shelters. So the food here is very different. and. Um, we have a gentleman that serves this population and he does come in every week for food for this group. This is an, another one of our programs that we offer. These are for clients that get Meals on Wheels. And 
Meals on Wheels people generally are homebound. And what we provide is food for the weekend, um, a kind of a supplemental type of food. And let's pick out a bag and see what somebody would be getting. It's about five to six pounds of food. And we do try and offer a variety. Now this is um, rice and bean. This would actually make six servings. Um, we do try and have a protein food, a vegetable, some fruits. This would be a main meal. This is chili with beans, some tea packets, and then a snack. Everybody needs a little treat uh, within their life. Uh, we do provide to a variety of the councils on aging in the Plymouth area. We have Kingston, Pembroke, uh, Middleborough, Lakeville, Duxbury, Carver, um, Plymouth, Hanover, and Wareham. And I may have forgotten a, a couple of them, but we provide like 259 bags every month to these councils on aging. We have another bag. <laughs> This is yet another program that we offer here at the Food Distribution Center. And this is um, a supplemental bag of food. This is a little different size. This is about 15 pounds of food. Uh, we provide them for Algonquin Heights participants, um, the Head Start program. Um, and this is food that um, the majority of it comes from the Boston Food Bank. So let's see what this person would be getting. Here we have a bag of cereal, very kid-friendly kind of a thing. We have some snacks, these are raisins, juices. We have um, pasta and sauce, which is always a, a favorite of people uh, for dinner. We provide some fruits, a jar of peanut butter, so this would be a very sub, you know, uh, substantial type of bag if you were to receive this. This could provide pretty, pretty much a, a, a variety of different meals for a week for a family, um, and depending on how creative you are. Now, this we have a can of salmon in here, which is kind of a nice find that was on the Boston Food Bank. Um, a can, big can of tuna. So this would provide a family with, with a lot of food resources for the week. Um, so if a Head Start family uh, were to need another bag, they could certainly pick one up. And um, they're all different. So it wouldn't be exactly the same thing over and over again. When you think of coming to a food pantry, this is probably what you would envision. A lot of shelves lined with a lot of foods, um, and, the, and this is exactly what we have here. Now, we're very fortunate today because this is um, November. People are starting to really donate. They kind of get in the um, holiday spirit with donating. So our shelves are pretty full. They're, they're really pretty full, and that's a good thing. Um, but it wasn't this way in July. If you would have come in July, you would have seen a completely different picture. What we do is we organize the foods with groups um, and shoppers take a cart and go up and down the aisles and take what they need. We do weigh the food in and out. We, we have a scale over there. And, and that's how we kind of keep track of our inventory and track where the inventory is going. Um, people join for free. The only thing we ask is that they provide um, data reports to us. Let me see what we have in here. Oh, this is a perfect one. Let me open this. One of our newer programs has been uh, the food recovery program. And this is food that normally would have been thrown away. Um, we get the food from a variety of different locations, um, grocery stores, supermarkets, food manufacturers um, are probably some of our biggest. And let me show you some of the things. This, the, packet, the color on the packaging has changed. 
Okay, and so this would this was discontinued and would have been thrown away. Um, this has a date on it for next year to be frozen until. There's nothing wrong with what's in the food package. And honestly, the color of the box really doesn't matter that much to me. So this is a very wholesome food. Um, one, one of the other people that really helps us a lot is Blount Foods. They're um, located in Fall River. And this is um, baked potato soup. And um, they donate to us every month a huge amount of food and people really enjoy their soups. They have a macaroni and cheese product that's, that's really delicious. And so we're fortunate to have a very good relationship with Blount Foods. Um, many times we get some very high-end products. We have some scallops here. Again, I think what has happened is the um, packaging has changed. There's no difference in the way the food is made, but the packaging has changed. And so st this is from Stop and Shop. Stop and Shop will call us and we'll come and pick this up because it's a discontinued product. Um, we do get a lot of foods and breads. We do get a lot of food and bread products from um, Aldi's is one of our newest um, helpers with this program. Um, Stop and Shop, we get bread from Panera Bread. Um, so it takes many, many different groups to kind of provide a complete meal for people and to provide some nice wholesome foods. We, we're really fortunate in the Food Distribution Center to have the support of not only food manufacturers and um, grocery stores and that sort of thing, but we're, we also have the support of the community. This large walk-in freezer was donated to us by the Plymouth Lions Club. And as, as you swing around here, I, I know I, I had thought at one point, am I really going to be able to fill this? And, and I have. Um, we have all kinds of foods in here for particular groups. Again, we have Panera foods that are donated. Um, this is from Big Y. Big Y is turned over um, from Hannaford's in, in Kingston. Most of this is filled with meat, which is a huge part of most people's food budget. So when people are able to go to the food pantry, it, it really is a very helpful thing, whereas some of the bread products might, are much more inexpensive. But if you're getting meat or anything like, like that sort of a thing, um, it will really help you out with your food budget. South Shore Community Action Council of Plymouth is dominantly a volunteer-run organization. Few days a week, volunteers meet at the facility to load the shelves and counters, fill up food bags for different programs, in addition to account for every pound of food that is being donated. Uh, that we know every pound that comes in, and we know where every pound is that goes out. Uh, so that there's, uh, we, we're very sensitive to the needs of our donors as well. They deserve a good accounting. Since the organization started up today, how close is it to mission statement? Very close. We just went over it. And you know, some of the beautiful words, I'm going to not remember them all, but it talks about in the midst of plenty, ensuring that people have access uh, to training, to life-sustaining and, and safety, nutrition, uh, and, and decision-making. The biggest challenge that the organization faces on its efforts of working to eliminate hunger is the fact that most people in or out of South Shore region look at South Shore as a rich area. 
and therefore the concept that there are people suffering from the inability to access food is a myth. You're right, absolutely. There's a disbelief that there's a need in the area. I think when we started the backpack program, Linda started the backpack program in the food area, people were stunned to see that one school would ask for 40, enough food for 44 children per weekend. Uh, another school would ask for, oh, 23 children. Uh, so I think our average number might be, and I think there are eight elementaries in Plymouth and we probably have six involved. Uh, we slowly have to grow the number because we have to grow our resources and donations. And our biggest challenge is that disbelief that you mentioned. Uh, people just don't believe that people are hungry. In Wareham, South Shore Community Action Council supplies food donations to organizations such as Turning Point. This year, the YMCA facility in Wareham received a generous food supply towards their efforts of providing Thanksgiving meals to those otherwise wouldn't be able to afford. This year, we are, have been asked by the Wareham area clergy and the former Community Resource Network to handle the Thanksgiving basket distribution for the community. Um, this has been a long-standing program in the community that the clergy have handled by giving a basket of food and a turkey to uh, members of the community who are most in need at this time of year. Community outreach is what South Shore Community Action Council stands for. Thanks to generous donations from corporate and local businesses, in addition to individual donors, the South Shore Community Action Council has able to provide critical emergency and self-sufficient services to 24,763 lower income individuals of all ages from the South Shore, Cape Cod, and the islands. A kayak business, Namasket, located in Wareham, was one of those generous donors. During the fall, Namasket Company hosted a ticket raffle for one of their own paddle boats. All the proceeds went to South Shore Community Action Council in the fight against hunger. The weather may be getting colder, but our hearts warmer. It is the season of giving, caring, and spreading the holiday cheers. To many families, this time of the year is tough, having to budget the little they have yet to be able to participate in holiday festivities such as hosting a turkey dinner during Thanksgiving. If you're one of those individuals or you know of one who struggles to afford food, don't let money stamp your nutrition. Encourage everybody to come and visit us at our new location at 71 Obery Street, O-B-E-R-Y Street in Plymouth. Come and see us and we can tell you about all the big and small programs in the agency.